Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Sean McMinnemy. I'm from NYU Langone Medical Center. We're here at the SOAR course in beautiful Seattle, Washington, and we're here with Track. Track, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm uh, Dr. Track Zong. I'm a neurotologist, so I specialize in uh, disorders of the ear uh, and uh, skull base. Um, you know, I practice uh, out of uh, Bellevue and uh, part of Swedish as well. Um, yeah. How did you end up in Seattle? Uh, well, uh, really just kind of got sick of the uh, cold weather and just kind of slowly migrated my way out here. And I, you know, I love the outdoors. So the Pacific Northwest is uh, really a good uh, mix of diversity uh, for me. And uh, really, you know, the, the outdoors is really what drew me out here. You don't have to shovel rain, right? That is correct. That's right. And I don't have to scrape it off my windshield in the morning. Yep. So what's the favorite part of your practice? So really my favorite part of the practice is um, really after surgery, seeing patients uh, doing better and particularly uh, having patients hear better. Um, you know, it's not, uh, sometimes it's life-saving surgery, uh, but most of the time it's really life-changing surgery. And that's really very satisfying to see people uh, have their hearing improved or restored um, and to see them get back into life and interact with the people that they love. Um, you know, a lot of times you see uh, really wonderful transformation uh, in people uh, and to help them get back to that life is very rewarding. Yeah, I agree. It's very rewarding surgery, uh, very fulfilling, and we really can make tremendous changes in people's lives with doing that. You know, we've, hear, we've been here at SOAR and we've heard a lot about where this specialty of otology and neurotology that you mm -hmm. and I love, where it's headed. Where do you think we're headed in the next five or ten years? What are going to be the next great advancements that we're going to see in the field? I think uh, two things, um, and a lot of that we went over uh, in this course, uh, the, the, um, you know, recently, which is, uh, number one, I think the technology that's available uh, for us to help restore hearing for people who have lost it uh, or uh, severely Im hearing impaired, that technology is getting a lot better. So the sound quality is better. Um, we're able to uh, have enough experience now with uh, cochlear implants specifically that uh, we're able to open it up to a, you know, more and more uh, people who uh, would benefit from it. So that's one area I think that's very, very exciting. Um, the other area is in the field of endoscopic uh, ear surgery, where uh, we're able to uh, conserve a lot more of the function of the ear and still remove the disease. And so people uh, do better long term and they get back to their life and they recover much more quickly. So yeah. I think those are two big things in my mind. We're certainly seeing that across medicine. Yeah. Uh, and you're right. The indications for cochlear implant, just to take a small part of our practice, are tremendously uh, expanded from where they were even 5, 10, 15 years ago. We're able to offer that technology to uh, a great many more patients than yeah. we ever have been in the history of, in the history of the specialty. Yeah. So let's talk about the SOAR course. What do you think about it? I think it's wonderful. You know, it's always good when... Uh, like-minded people uh, get together and kind of share experience um, and knowledge. I think it's it's beneficial. Uh, you know, peop our our job is to pass on some of our specialty knowledge, but we always learn something from uh, the experience of uh, the people that we're teaching, and we learn something just from being in the lab. Uh, you know, they ask great questions. Yeah, I always try and learn something, and the participants really are from all over. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, they've been very, very, very good. I think uh, the facility, I have my thoughts on the facility. Really, it's, I think it's second to none. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it is. Um, this is my first year teaching it, and I'm really impressed with the facilities. I mean, uh, the resource they have, the equipment. Um, so it really sets the stage for uh, learning really very modern, cutting-edge techniques. Yeah. So it's great. I couldn't agree. And I think uh, everybody's really enjoyed having you here, and uh, I want to thank you for participating. And... Uh, Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.